Hey everyone, Jessica Gubasi here, and oh my god, my voice is finally back to normal. So, if you weren't that updated, I've been sick for the past week, and my voice has been changing so often. Every day I would wake up and I would have a completely different voice. I sounded like a smoker, like I've been smoking for 500 years. So, now that that's over and my voice is kind of back to normal, I wanted to record something so we got the rainbow streaks here. We got some of that light flare. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I did this. Quick before and after just to show you guys the transformation that you're about to embark on. So here we go. As you guys can see, also add a little bit of texture on there. And it's super easy to do. Uh, let's just jump right into it. I'm going to go ahead and get my main image out. Real quick, before we begin this tutorial, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or even an online store, make your next move with Squarespace. They have award-winning designer templates that are really easy to use. They have an all-in-one platform, so there's never anything to upgrade, patch, or install. And if you ever have any issues, they have award-winning customer service, so you never run into any issues and someone's always there to help. You can start your free trial today at squarespace.com and enter offer code JESSICA to get 10% off your first purchase. So I personally use Squarespace. I love it. That is why I recommend it to everybody and that is why I use it. So check it out and let me know what you guys think. Before we begin, we need to make sure we have the proper textures to be able to get that rainbow effect. So here's one of the textures that I'm going to be using. And I like this one because the rainbow is very bright. And again, the background is not distracting. It's a solid background. That's what I look for. I feel like this is like a dating website. Like I also look for a plain background. The next one is perfect. Again, you have a solid background. It's a little bit of a gradient, but I don't mind it that much. The most important thing is that you have a really vibrant color that's going to pop out when you change the layer setting. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this rainbow streak and we're going to add it into the photo. And all I really do is just drag it in there. You can also open it into Photoshop and copy and paste it in, or you can simply just drag it from the folder onto the image. And I, again, I just dragged it into the image. I'm going to press enter as is, and I'm just gonna show you guys. Now, the trick is to go from normal to a couple of other layer settings. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite layer settings for this type of look. You can do light in if you want. It's not my favorite. Oh, it's a hit or miss, to be honest. I don't particularly use this one. My go-to layer option is screen for these types of looks. And you can see that it, the, the colors still show wonderfully. And you, know, you can see that the background also show, still shows, but you can easily fix that. I'm gonna show you guys how I combat that. Another great one, if you're trying to be more artsy and funky, you could do overlay. This one, I feel like you gotta practice a little bit and find your niche here because it's, it's a little bit hard to use if you don't use it correctly and you have to use a certain kind of texture for that. Uh, soft light is one that I also use. I really love using soft light for a lot of these textures. Hard light is also a good one if you're getting extra funky. Again, you just have to learn how to use these in your own certain way. But for this tutorial, again, screen is the go-to layer setting for this. Now, what I'm gonna do is just kind of place this where I like it. And what we're going to do next is create a layer mask. So go down to where it says add layer mask, press that, make sure that the rainbow streak layer is selected and you are selecting this mask area again if you are if you click this right here the actual picture it's not going to work make sure this mask is selected so then what we want to do is take a brush with it could just be any default round brush zero percent hardness and we're going to make sure the color of this brush is set to black reason being if you don't know how masks work Black is to subtract and white is to add back into the mask. I have a video if you're confused by what I'm saying. Masks are extremely helpful and you should use them uh, 
to your advantage when you are in Photoshop. I, I will link that video below so you can learn how to use them if you don't know how. So what I'm going to do now is just lower the opacity just a little bit. 86% seems pretty good to me. And what we're going to do, again, foreground colors black, default round brush, everything set. Let's get it. Let's just start coloring. Yay. Okay, so what I'm doing is lightly going over those edges. We want to get rid of these harsh edges from that photo and just lightly go over it. We don't want to go over the actual rainbow. And there are different techniques to doing this. Just go crazy, do your thing. You know, I'm sure that some of you guys are expert colorers. So you guys just have, have fun. It's fun for the whole family. So after you've finished, you can also adjust it. You can lower the opacity to make it mesh into the picture a little bit more. What I like to do is also add in a curves layer on top of this. We're going to add another texture on top of this as well. Again, I just, I just dragged it in and I'm pressing enter after I just make it a little bit bigger and I'm kind of putting it where I want it. But usually what I do is I put it to screen first and then I can actually see where it's going to be. And then I just move it around to where I want it. And you can also make it bigger from there as well. And it, don't worry if your image is pixelated a little bit or it's not the best quality. Honestly, with textures, I don't think it really matters that much unless it's like horrendous quality and, and it was like a one kilobyte image. And okay, you might have a problem. But I think right now it's, it's, it's going to be okay. Again, press that mask layer on the photo that we just put. And same thing, just color in that black color, get rid of that, those uh, definitive lines. If only everything in life were this easy, just erase things from your life. Because I have a list of stuff that needs to be erased, okay? Some of it is people, okay? Just very strange people in my life. Okay, so this is looking okay. And... As you can see, if you move this around, there's still parts of the mask that you may have to erase. It's like sneaking up on you, so just remember to get that. Look, it's trying to be slick and like, hey, I thought you didn't see me there, but I did, and you're still getting erased, so. All right, so here we go. There you, bam, see how easy that was? Remember, make sure to get those corners and stuff. Okay, see how easy that is? Look at that. Like, how much work was that really? You Look at this. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Masterpiece. Picasso. Like, those French Renaissance painters. Okay, here we go. That's it. Say, for instance, you don't want to use texture. Real quick, you want to be extra hipster. You want to be an artist for real. You don't have to even use this texture. What you can do, and I'm going to show you, is another way of doing this rainbow texture make a new raster layer, press Command R. And what you want to do is set that layer from normal to screen before you even do anything. We're just using a default round brush. Same as always. You want to start it with the color. I don't even, you can start with any color you want, honestly. Let's start it with some red. Let's start it with that. Bam, look at that rainbow. Oh gosh. That, that looks ratchet, you guys, but we're about to fix it. Okay, take another color, orange. Just layer that on top of it. Oh, my God. It's even worse than I thought. Okay, here we go. And take another color. Maybe you want to use green. And, you know, you really want to be a little bit cleaner with this. But, honestly, just have fun with it, to be honest. Just play around. See what you can come up with. I'm just going to use blue. So here we have Fruit Loops right here, making me so hungry. Right? Okay. Like, I really don't like this rainbow first. Like, I feel like I'm missing 20 colors right now, but whatever. Okay. So we're going back to this. You can either take an eraser brush or you can take a mask and do that same technique we just applied. I'm just using the eraser brush and I'm 
going to erase a little bit of the areas that I don't want. Just again, if you don't want to use a texture, you want to be fancy, and for any reason you don't like the colors that are currently on there, all you have to do is just go in and add, use different opacities, use different colors, different shapes. You guys be, you guys were artists, come on, just be creative. Here we go. That looks a little bit better. You don't even have to do the rainbow, to be honest. You can just, you can just use any sort of color. Oh my God, look at that green. That's like so nasty. Okay. It looks like slime or something. Okay, so again, you can put it here. You can lower the opacity. That is another technique you can do. And also you can switch it up. You can move it this way. It's all about just experimenting with this. And then last but not least, we have the technique where we use an actual gradient. So down here, I'm going to gradients. I'm pulling up the gradient fill window. And let's use some that I was making yesterday. So what I did initially is I went to the default presets. And as you can see, this is one of the default presets and it has like a billion colors. So what we're gonna do is destroy it. We're gonna remove all of these colors. I think it's more like this. Okay, so just by pulling down, you're removing the colors. So I'm moving these in a little bit. I'm pressing new so that it will, it will save my gradients. So now when you press OK, what you can do is use that angle and shift it over. And let's say you don't want it this huge. What you can do is just take down the scale. So by lowering the scale, you can control the how large it is. And also another cool tip is while you're in the gradient fill window, if you drag it back and forth, you can see that you can just easily move the whole gradient. And by reversing it, you can reverse the color. So it's pretty handy, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna press OK. And I'm gonna go from normal to screen. And here's, again, just one other way of doing it. If you press on that gradient map, that uh, gradient mask, I'm sorry, that has already been created on this layer, and you take that black brush, you can erase what you don't want. The only thing I don't really like about gradient masks is they're continuous, so I'll show you in a second. If you move it around, if you do this kind of thing, see, it never ends. Oh my, it's like the never ending story, okay, which is kind of obnoxious. But if you want this gradient to stay in one spot and you kind of know already where you want it, it's pretty cool. It works. It's nothing too fancy. Go to soft light, switch it up. You could also do overlay. Possibilities are on, well, they probably end sometime, but yeah, you'll probably be like 90, but eventually it will end. So the possibilities will probably end, but it's, they're really cool about possibilities. They're, it's really, there's so much that you can do with this. And I encourage you guys to just experiment. And let me show you guys real quick everything that we just learned today or that I just did by myself because I have no friends. Okay, let's first start out again. This is the gradient map that we just used. Just a simple gradient, super easy. And you can use also other colors. You don't have to use the rainbow. This is the other, the ratchet rainbow that I did. And I, okay, I know the colors are totally wrong. I feel like this is gonna bug me. Like I'm gonna go to sleep and be like, why did the colors not match? Okay, I'm trying to fix it, man. How do you make the rainbow? Roy G. Biv, okay, where's Roy G. Biv? Okay, here's the green. No, well, I tried with this one, okay? This is not supposed to be the rainbow, okay? But you get the you get the picture. Last one is my favorite, and it's just a simple texture from the interwebs. And to pull it all together, just take a curves layer, 
There you go. Beautiful. Wow. Oh my God. Like I should leave the internet right now. I'm doing too much. Wow. Beautiful. Okay. So there you have it, you guys. How to create rainbow streaks if you didn't do it and while you were actually taking the picture because sometimes we forget or sometimes we just don't want to. So I hope this video tutorial was helpful. I will link everything below. Please let me know what you guys think, what you guys would like to see for future tutorials. And as always, thank you guys for watching.